Okay, so today your barefoot garden country cook is cooking steak. Perfect steak every time. So I got top sirloin, and what I did was I took two tablespoons of butter and put it in the saucepan. Get it nice and hot on about medium, medium high heat. And I'm gonna sear the meat with that butter on that side, and then I've buttered the other side by hand. So we're gonna go ahead and put these two pieces of lovely steak in there. And you wanna do, if you like your steak medium, about three to four minutes per side. Everybody's closed. Now, while these are browning on one side, you can do just plain salt and pepper. That's the best way that I like my steak, but um, there's this steak seasoning that goes great. Gives it a little bit more flavor. And once I see around the edges that it's getting brown, I just let it go another two minutes. Like I said, about three minutes. Well, um, about three to four minutes on each side. Let's see, one. Timer. There we go. <clears throat> My German sweet and sour cabbage is just about ready. And the reason why I use the butter in the pan because we are going to saute mushrooms and onions in the same juices as the steak is making up as it cooks. So you put it on about a medium to about a medium temperature, medium, low, high, um, to do that. I go by look. I mean, I don't know the whole, you know, when you touch it with your finger, how to know that it's medium, but I know that at three to four minutes on each side come, makes it come out perfectly. So, once this is um, it's cooking up this right side. I am cooking up some sirloin steaks with onions and mushrooms sautéed in the juices from the steak. I see you breaking the new pan. Yep, I washed it. You always want to wash a pan when it's brand new because they put oils on it when they manufacture them. Well, I walked outside with the whole lawnmower to attempt to work on it outside. So our three minutes is just about up on this one side, and I'm going to go ahead and turn those babies over. You can see it's starting to get a little brown, which is exactly how I like it. And then I'm going to do four minutes on this side. The reason why I do three and four is because it actually allows it to stay juicier than kind of like getting all the way dry through and once I've turned them with that other butter side down I'm going to take some steak seasoning on this side and sprinkle it and then let them cook another four minutes now ahead of time I've got some nice uh, button mushrooms that are already pre-sliced up they're going to go in there and then half of a red onion actually it's a small red onion it's basically the whole onion i like a lot of onion but we love our mushrooms with our steak and we just put the mushrooms and the onions that are going to be sauteed in this lovely steak juice and butter sauce um we're going to put those on top of the steak when we serve it so when this four minutes is up for this side what I do is I flip it back over one more time for one minute to sear these herbs and spices into the meat. So, I'm just gonna let this cook a little bit up here. Now, if you have thinner slices, sometimes you don't need to do it four minutes. It'll tend to become basically well done. And I don't want them well done, so I'm going to do like three minutes each side with a little extra time on this other side. 